sound is a true art form. And whether you're talking about Khabib Nurmagomedov, Jack Hermanson, or this guy, they've all taken it to the next level over the last several years. Yes, unbelievable to watch him take control and find opportunities to land ground strikes. Now, what they do so well is he does not waste punches. He usually will find one good shot and take it. He does not try to just go punch, 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 punch for the sake of punching. He finds position. He finds posture. He brings his hands inside, and then he comes over the top with elbows, or he lands the big right hands that makes his opponents fold up, and then he goes to the next position, whether it be submission or continuing to ground and bomb his opponent into the bottom of the arc. And of course, it all starts with maintaining top position, which he does as well as anyone in the game. All right, here he is for my money, Mike, the most well-rounded fighter in this division, a true mixed martial artist at his core, and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup. Tonight. Everyone talked about him being well-rounded. It's unbelievable to watch a guy that can do everything across the board at such a high level. Yeah, he's comfortable wherever the fight goes. Maybe he'll grapple tonight, maybe he'll strike. Makes him a hard guy to prepare for. I mean, Damian Maya may be the most specialist type of grappler in the UFC. This guy resembles him in a number of ways. Let's see how he manages this fight against a guy that can do just about everything inside the octagon. Well, we talked about his reach advantage off the top. Made good use of it there with that punch, DC. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect, so fast, so accurate. Watch the ability to land anywhere. He loaded up on that right hand, too. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Oh, beautiful jab by him there. Got that to the target quickly. He's dictated the fight with a jab. Both guys throwing potential fight enders here in the early going. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Can't take many of those, you better check. Over and over, he's landed a big body kick. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Nice. Man, DC, his hands look good. A lot of volume, a lot of accuracy tonight. He's doing a great job being accurate, but he's also very fast. Look at the hand speed, right? Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both yeah. landing. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you've got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop you. got to defend. But you can see him now start to gain posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Oh, nice punch there by the Korean Super Bowl. Hands high, hands high. Another shot lands upstairs. And they separate. Wow, that right punch has been the money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, he will continue to throw the strike until he makes him stop throwing. Oh, he lands the Superman punch. Just unable to quite find that range. He lands with the left. His misses are entertaining. Back and forth we go here! Oh, effective strike there by Burrell. Oh! 
just misses with that big right hand. Blocks the shot. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Chor. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. Well, he's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Nice job there to find a home for that. Oh! Wow! Oh! oh, big left hook there. All right, bottom fighter here. Maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Man, how fun is this to watch as he continues to dole out damage with the ground and pound? Take it back to the days of guys like Mark Coleman just beating people up in the ground and pound. This guy is a throwback fighter to very fun to watch. Yeah, the godfather would be proud. Back to his feet. 15 seconds to go. Head kick attempt, it's blocked. Barrow's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of slow. All right, no Telestrator for DC tonight, but we'll get you some replays. And if you like face punching, that was a good round. Yeah, where's my Telestrator, man? I want to draw this action. But yeah, John, you're right. It was the striking, it was the punches. That really did allow him to take control of this round. Okay, you ready? Round two. Ready? Round two underway. Lance with the kick there. No pad on that foot. No shit, Lars. He's taking all of that kick every time he throws. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Oh! Huge right hand! All right, we'll see if he can apply pressure inside his opponent's guard here, DC. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. All right, so pretty good damage here with the ground and pound. Nothing superficial about these strikes. They are intending to harm. Oh, yeah, he's landing very accurately, and he's landing to get damage off. Back to his feet. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're going to have to put something on your opponent that's going to really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one up? Oh, tags him with the left. That left hand has been really effective tonight. Oh, nice slip there. Great head movement overall by this guy defensively tonight. He does a great job of moving his head side to side and really mixing up the motion at which he moves. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Body kick now by Barrow. Left punch is clean, followed by a right. Nice punch there by Choi. Trying to establish that jab once again. Oh, nice right hand, John. He changes the angle. Whoa! And just like that, the fight is over. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. What a fight. You knew if he landed that weapon repeatedly, it could be a short night for his opponent. But that was just one perfectly placed strike that his opponent candidly didn't even see coming. It landed flush, and the rest, as they say, is history. Big knockout win for him here tonight.
we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliano has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 22 seconds of round number two. You're playing the winner by knockout, the Korean Super Bowl. So the celebration.